Amazing God is eyes, but my heart still beats When I say no, it's yes, I'm putting you to the test Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Hey guys, and welcome to the Urban Jungle. If you're interested in spending a weekend trip away from Munich and discovering these awesome places, then keep watching. Let's jump right into the car and drive to our first spot, Partnachlam Gorge. After arriving at Garmisch Partenkirchen, we were looking for a parking spot when we discovered this nice tourist attraction here. Sometimes it is worth climbing the stairs. So, this is the Große Olympiaschanze, one of the four famous stadiums where the New Year Ski Jump competition takes place. You might have seen such competitions on TV, but you really have to be there in person to realize how high the slope is and how far the athletes fly. It is indeed amazing! But now, back to what we came for, beautiful nature. Go out of the stadium using the right exit and simply follow the river. From this little sign here, it's a 20 minute walk to the entrance of the gorge. The gorge is an enclosed place in the mountains, so you might want to grab some drinks or snacks and use the restrooms. This is your last chance here. And keep this gondola in mind, guys. The entrance fee is 6 euros per adult and 3 per child and definitely worth the money. In case you were wondering, we are in an 80 meter deep gorge. And just look at this crystal clear ice blue water. It is a little adventure but a safe one if you wear steady shoes and pay attention to the puddles on the path. Oh yes, and some places are a bit dark, so I recommend to switch on the flashlight on your phone from time to time. As much as I like the gorge, being back under the sun is also really nice. And the trip doesn't stop because we are taking the gondola cableway back to where we came from. To be honest, this sign saying 15 minutes to the cableway is a lie. To climb the mountain, it is a medium hike, so this is why you brought the drinks. But again, in my opinion, it's worth it and you can take your well-deserved rest Waiting for the cute gondolas. Amazing God is eyes, but my heart still beats. When I say no, it's yes, I'm putting you to the The ride back costs 5 euros per adult and 4 per child. And you have to pay when you arrive to the Vela station. Enough action for today and back into the car. Last stop before arriving at the hotel, Forgensee. It's a bit cloudy, but I like how the clouds are reflected in the lake. It looks endless. Driving from the Partnachklam Gorge to get here and to the hotel, which is located super close, takes you about 1 hour to 1 hour 15. What follows now is the best of food and relaxation. Link to the hotel is in the info box. If you are also living in the city, you will enjoy to look outside and see nothing but green meadows and nature. To get to our destination on day 2, Linderhof Castle, we briefly cross the German-Austrian border and drive past beautiful Plansee, where the Alps seem to directly rise out of the lake. Luckily, there's not much traffic, so you can drive a bit slower, enjoy the view and often park in dedicated free places alongside the road. Back again in good old Germany, we made it to Schloss Linderhof. Depending on the Covid situation, you can visit the inside of the castle. But the park is constantly open and it's even for free. As with every good tourist attraction, the souvenir shop isn't far. So if you're a fan of fancy hats or cuckoo clocks, this is your place.
as you can see on the map, you can spend quite some time here just strolling around. To give you a little bit of background information, Lindehof Castle was built on behalf of King Ludwig II of Bavaria. He is the king that had also built Neuschwanstein Castle, the famous Disney castle, and Herrensee Castle, which you can both check out in my other video later. Lindehof Castle is the only one of the three castles that was completed when the king was still alive. And it is believed that this was his favorite place. So, just imagine you are walking on the same path as the king of Bavaria once did. Isn't that cool? The whole castle grounds and its former garden are designed to resemble a cross, with a castle in the middle. It is a bit hard to recognize, but what you can't miss is a 22 meters high fountain. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you would like to extend your weekend trip, then check out my video about Neuschwanstein, a pretty cool attraction which is located close to the others we visited today. The next video will be about Munich again. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye!